Hi everyone, it's me, Logan McMinn. Um, I'm doing a review, and um, I'm reviewing three products, one of which I had purchased, and the other two were just samples, because I had purchased my first product at Sephora, which was this. And it is the Illamasqua Scorn Nail Polish. Now, I was, in, I was pretty interested in this for a while when I had first seen it. Um, when I first seen it on the Illamasqua website, and so I w was looking on um, Sephora few, like a few weeks ago, and I had seen that Sephora had this one. It was a new shade um, at Sephora because Sephora sells Illamasqua as well. And I was like, oh my god! And I purchased it. Um, so yeah, this is the matte one. They have one that isn't matte that is more shinier and more shiny finish, which is. Bosch or Bush, I don't know how you pronounce it. I'll put the n name right here. But yeah, um, let's get into the positives and positives and negatives. I'm gonna start with the positives. This is this is very cre not crease resistant. It's very um, chip resistant. Um, I've had this on for how many days? Um, four days. This side hasn't chipped at all. This side only three nails have chipped. And I had painted this hand with my non-dominant hand, so that might kind of be why. Um, but, yeah. Um, it's very chip resistant. Another positive would be that it is... It's very um, good coverage. It's only about... You only have to do about one or two coats. For me, most of my nails, it was only one coat, so very good coverage. Now, negatives. The price, it is quite, um, hefty. It is $14 at, um, Sephora, and I believe 21 pounds or 19 pounds at, um, Illamasqua. I'm not 100% sure. If that's not the actual price, I'll throw a the annotation. Um, but, yeah, the price is a negative. Um, another negative would be that it is not as matte as other nail polishes that I've used, or the other nail polish I've used. I've only used one matte nail polish besides this, which is this one, which is the Mattly in Love. But this one is not as long lasting as this one. So, yeah. Um, overall, I love this nail polish. I will actually repur repurchase this um, nail polish. Um, it's very good. I highly recommend it. Even for the price, it is very good. Um, it's beaten all black nail polishes to me. So, I per I love it. Even though it's not fully matte, I still love it. I, I just do. Um, another positive would also be the packaging, but packaging doesn't really count as product, so, yeah. Next would be one of the, one of the samples, and that, and it is the Gourlane, I think that's how you say it. Abio Royale Youth Serum Firming Lift and Wrinkle Correction. And it looks like this. It's just a nice jar and it has a dropper. Oop, and the thing just came out. Um, and basically it's just Youth Serum. It's, um, it's very liquidy. The consistency is very liquidy. It's not like so liquidy that it's gonna run down when you put it on. So yeah, um, and basically what you would do is you would either put a little bit in your hands, you would drop a little bit on like your hand or your finger, and then you just rub it into certain areas or just um, your whole face, and it will just help firm it up and all that, and um, or you could just use the dropper and just drop it onto your face, but I... I don't really know, but, um, I don't, I probably would put it in on the back of my hand, or, or not the back of my hand, but, on um, my hand, but, yeah, and, um, I did, have been using it, I use it, like, around here, um, and some of you are probably like, why are you using it, you're really young, because I want to prevent wrinkles, um, from, um, happening too soon, so, yeah, prevention is key. Now, on to the negatives and positives. Positives. Um, it smells really good. It's very good. It's a very good scent. It's a very floral scent. Um, now for the youth um, properties, I have looked on the Illamasco, not Illamasco, the Sephora website, and the reviews on it have all been good. Everybody who has used it and has reviewed on it 
has said that it is it is fantastic. It is it lives up to what it, what they say it does and everything like that. Even the short term um, uh, effects are fabulous. And if short term effects are fabulous. Just imagine what the um, long term are. So yeah, it works. Um, a negative about it would definitely be the price. It is one hundred and forty dollars. Um, so yeah, another negative, um, which doesn't apply to everybody, but if you're vegan, you wouldn't be able to use this because it is used, or it is used, or made using the products. So if you're a true vegan, you wouldn't be able to use this. But I'm a vegetarian, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, so yeah, overall, it's a very good um product. If I ever do have the money again, I probably will repurchase this, but um, it's not like I'm going to like, oh my god, I have to have it. It's not like that because the price is very expensive. Um, basically, if you, have the, if you are willing to cough up some money, then by all means get it because it is very good. So, yeah, I definitely recommend this. Next would be the... Fusion Beauty Prime Results Tinted Moisturizer SPF 15 and Sunscreen. Um, this is basically just a tinted moisturizer. Um, now, this is basically, in my opinion, tinted moisturizers are going to be, from what I can gather, tinted moisturizers are going to be basically more personal, I think, um, than most than my, the other two products. So, for me, I like this. Um, this does apparently give more coverage than a regular tinted moisturizer. I have looked on reviews, or I've looked at reviews on the Sephora website, and this is does have a little more coverage, which to me is good, because I only put it, like, around dark circles with my eyes. And if you watch my, other, my concealer video, which I'll put a link to right here, you will know that I don't like, for everyday use, I don't like to have full concealing underneath my eyes. I like there to be a little more a little bit of imperfection. So yeah. Um but it doesn't um conceal perfectly, but it does cover a little bit. So yeah, um basic so that's a positive. It does cover real it does cover pretty good. Um it covers better than most ones. Um it um, a negative would be that some people have said that it is quite thick, and it is. Um, and now the positive and negatives are going to be messed up because um, although it is thick, it ha it's very velvety and go glides on really well. And yeah, um, another positive would be that it um, it's not crease resistant because like when I had checked in the mirror um, a few minutes later it did crease into the um, creases in my eyes but after I had just fixed it it the creasing was gone there was no more creasing I checked um, like about an hour later no creasing whatsoever so it's very good if you use it just by itself it's really good so yeah those are just three products which um, are really good oh and this one I do recommend this another negative would be the price forgot to mention that. Um, the price is forty dollars, but I probably would cough up the money because it I like it so much. But yeah. Um that's about it. Leave comments, feedback and all that stuff down below in the um comment section. Comment, subscribe, whatever.